Hey y'all, we're doing something real simple on the flavor train today, y'all. I've been craving nacho cheese. <laughs> so we got some ground beef. Here's the food line. Peggy Howe would be so proud. Just cheese dip, jalapenos, little taco seasoning, and some nachos. Guess what? <laughs> That's what your homegirl's having on the flavor train for dinner tonight. Alright, y'all. Y'all know what I do. I put my ground beef in there and I got my handy dandy utensil to bust it up. Bust it up, 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 bust it up. All right, y'all, I got it to about the size I want it. So we're just going to let it cook all the way through. We'll just add our seasons and we're done. All right, y'all, the meat is drained. And we're going to just add a little bit of taco seasoning. Just a little bit, not a lot. Not even a half of this bag, maybe a fourth of this bag. Add it in there. Stir it around. Stir it around. And we're gonna just ease a little bit of water in here. This is probably this is a half a cup, but I'm gonna pour maybe a third of it. I didn't even fill it all the way up. Okay. Get that cooked for another two minutes. Get that seasoning in that meat. And we add the cheese in y'all. This is it. Done. And then you plate up. Simple is one, two, three. This is what you learn when you hang and you're working, girl. And you hang with Lady T. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Before you put your cheese in, you're going to turn your heat down low. Pour that cheese on in there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I hear you. I hear y'all talking. I hear you talking. I hear you talking. <laughs> I hear you talking. Yes, that's what we're doing tonight. That's what that's that that that, 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 that that's that's how we're gonna flow tonight. I can smell that flavor. Alright, y'all. This sauce is done. And if y'all got diced tomatoes, you can make this dip any way you want to. But this is all I had to taste for tonight. I won't try to do it all fancy fans. So, so this is what we're doing. Let's plate up and eat. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead on and put jar number two up in there. Since y'all, since y'all, some of y'all were gonna add, some of y'all was asking. Why can't you even put two of them in there? Well, well, for those cheese connoisseurs, uh, asking you shall receive. I don't play. I just don't play. Just mix it in. You got you a dip, baby. Dip, baby. Dip, baby. Dip, 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 baby. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Ooh, yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tanya Lady T, and this is another edition of Lady T Sensations. Come on, everybody, get on board, because why? The tickets are free. Y'all, I done already told y'all I've been craving me some nachos, and yeah. So, if y'all follow me on my main channel, y'all know that I bought a bunch of stuff, and that's pretty much what I had for Sunday dinner. <laughs> I just, let me have it. 
sometimes you just have that craving. Well, that craving is still on me, so I had to satisfy that craving. Anyway, let's say prayer right quick. And I want to thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. Amen. Of course, y'all saw the video where I cooked it up real quick. Took no more than about 15 minutes. Got some jalapenos on the caboose. I got food line brand round white corn tortilla chips. We're going to do water. And we got the zesty blood orange diet coke. So we're about to do it. Anyway, I hope everybody's had a good and productive day. Of course, the hour is kind of late. Um, and the girl, of course, is tired because I'm winding down from work. Um, but let's go on and dip. Dip, dip. And I poured all this dip in here. I don't know if I'm going to eat it all. I'm going to put that jalapeno there so we can go on and get it in. Yes, y'all. Yes, yes. Mmm. Oh. All kinds of flavor going on. I'm having a fiesta. Not a siesta. But I'm having a fiesta in my mouth, y'all. Mmm. I'm going to do some shout outs today too, y'all. It's hot. This dip is still hot. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh man, somebody's calling me. They're gonna have to wait. Oh yes, that's a good water. Oh they look like some good old cold water. Y'all might get a video almost every day this week because there's some stuff that I want to cook um, since the heat, since it's cooled down a little bit. It's just, it was just too hot. The, whew. Just been too hot to cook. I don't even need to tell y'all. Y'all already know.
First of all, y'all, I got to shout out my girl, B Loves, B Loves Life, Bethany. Let me just tell you something, sister. I appreciate you. I appreciate you shouting me out. It's just, it's really an honor because you don't have to, but I thank you. I thank you, my sister. And I also want to shout out Prissy P. Prissy P, I must have been sleeping, baby, because uh, we should have been done hooked up if you were in North Carolina. Do you wait? Same way with Hello Daisy Rain. What's up, Amanda? I need to hook up with her because she's she's right here in North Carolina too. But anyway, I talked to my mom. We're really considering doing a meet and greet in Raleigh, North Carolina. We just got to figure it out when we can be freed up with our schedules and stuff to really do that. So anyway, excuse me. I wanted to just, again, shout those two ladies out. Y'all need to go check out B-Love's channel. I mean, if you don't know B-Love's, do wait. If you don't know Prissy P, do what? So anyway, I'm going to leave their channel links in the description box. Show them some love. They already, you know, are awesome women. And you know what? Let me just pause and just say, it's so it's so good and empowering to see women and, and especially us women of color, but just women in general who uplift, who support, who shout you out, who genuinely, you know that they watch your videos, you know that they have a connection. And even though I haven't met either one of these beautiful ladies personally, I feel like I know them. Just like when Prissy P and B Loves is doing their collab, that's love. And it, 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 it's so refreshing to see that. I mean, I was just talking to Mr. Silver Fox today about, you know, what is going on that people are so mad and they're so full of hate. They're just mad. But anyway... Again, I'm speaking it. I've got to find a way to make it happen. I'm getting ready to get heated up with work. I'm entering into my peak season at work. I I, I, got, I just got to find a way to happen. So again, thank you, beloved life. I love you, Bethany. You're doing the daggone thing. You're hustling, girl, and you're hustling hard. I see you. I see you. I would be I I would love to be able to do this full time. You, you feel me? You feel me? Yes. But um just like her and Prissy P was saying, when it's your time, it's your time, you know? So I'm believing that same thing for me. So uh wherever I am, I have to be content with where God has me. And what God has for me is for me. What God had for Bethany Beth, has for Bethany would be Love's Life channel because, I mean, she just soared and took off. And I tell the Lord, thank you, girl. I tell the Lord that he continue to bless you, he continue to increase, that he continue to meet your every need, prosperity and money, good health, good everything will always be encamped around you. Same way with you, Miss Prissy P. May the Lord continue to bless your businesses, bless you and your husband, your marriage, Oh my God, I just I just speak blessings over both of your lives and I thank you. I thank you. I truly, truly thank you. And like I said, I call both of you blessed. <laughs> your marriages are blessed. Your household are blessed. Your children are blessed. Amen. And I, I pray that God continue to give you the strength and comfort and all and everything that you need at the time that you need it. Amen. I'm serious about that. So Thank you both, both of y'all so much for your love. And again, that's what we need. We need to be able to show a different face on YouTube in this community. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Sometimes we'll tune in to, to drama and stuff. But for the most part, y'all can miss me with all that. All y'all trolls out there, y'all can truly miss me out there because... When you have a B-Love, a Prissy P, or any any of us YouTube and YouTubers in this community, and we can uplift each other, and it ain't got to be about backbiting, backstabbing, toenail robbing, and, and fingernail clipping. No, 
we are just hustling, hustling every day. It's the same what? Hmm. Every day. Closed mouths don't get fed, I'm telling you. So thank you, B-Loves. Thank you, Prissy P, for reminding me it's about the grind. It's about speaking into existence what you believe God for. And guess what? Like I just said, closed mouths don't get fed. So guess what? You got to speak things into existence. You have to see yourself. And I'm talking to myself right now. You, I have to see myself prospering. I have to see myself in that new house. Oh, yes. Now, don't get me to preaching up in here. But like I said, I want to thank you. And I want to thank you, my viewers. If it wasn't for you for sharing my videos and liking my videos to, to increase that algorithm, I thank each and every one of y'all when y'all tune in faithfully to see your girl Lady T. Because not for if it's not if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't I wouldn't continue to to press on and say, you know what? There's somebody that might need to hear an encouraging word today. And just them seeing my face, God, I thank you for using me. So anyway, I had to get that out. I really truly did. I had to get that out and just say thank you. I also want to shout out Miss C's Corner. What's up, my sister? I love you. Y'all, she has a beautiful spirit. Again, I'm going to leave her channel description link in the description box. Show her some love. Go over there. She does mukbangs. She does hauls. She does positive uh, videos. Um, positive scriptures over there. I mean, she's really awesome. She, you know, she's just an awesome, beautiful, beautiful woman. And I'm so glad for YouTube that we were able to make that connection. Girl, um, stay tuned. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in contact with you. But um, y'all just show her some love. I really love her. I've grown to love her. We message back and forth. So, you know, like I said, YouTube can bring people together and they can have lasting relationships. When you go into a relationship, and that's any relationship, when you go into a relationship and both of you are like-minded and it's about uplifting and empowering and there's no jealousy, there's no envy, no strife, are you kidding me? I have to trust and believe that God is so big what I'm going to be mad about what somebody else is blessed with. Because I believe my father, God in heaven, he owns everything. And he's not going to withhold anything from me. It's just about timing. So I'm going to be all y'all biggest cheerleaders. I'm going to be standing up under you, lifting and holding your hands up while you're doing a good work. So anyway, love you, Miss C Corner. Love you, love you, love you. And please, 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 y'all, please. Do take the time out to go to their channels. And the other person I want to shout out is MK Markel TV. What's up, home man? What's up? Well, I ain't gonna call you home boy because you you're not a boy, you was a man. What's up, brother Bam? Love watching your videos, y'all. He does seafood boys, he does milk bangs and all that. And I just love listening to his voice. I like the way he talks. And that's the other thing I like about YouTube. There's so many people that I do watch throughout my day, why, you know, because I got I work with a lot of numbers. So my thing of it is I enjoy listening to other people's uh, what's going on with them. You know, I love listening to interesting people, and and and, and so just check him out. Of course, I'll leave his his, uh, his link to his channel. Again, that's M K Markel TV. Go check Brother Man out. And uh, and I'm going to tell you somebody who's so, so interesting to me. It's Maple Poon. His channel is Maple Life. What's up, Maple Poon, Maple Life? I love him. I, I've watched him ever since I started my channel. He's just really interesting to me. I love the way he talks. I like his, uh, his dialect. I just, I absolutely love his channel. He always has something interesting to say. It's just something totally different than my lifestyle so what's up maple poon i love you maple life again i'll leave his description there's a link in the description but yeah y'all i wanted to get the shout outs today
But y'all, and also y'all, Fit Angie. Fit Angie is so awesome. She is so supportive. When she's going to be off because she's having to do something, she lets, she lets you know. And I tell and Fit Angie, you are awesome. Y'all keep her in prayer. You keep her parents in prayer. She's having to take care of them. They've had a, a few slips and falls and issues. So she's taking care of mom and dad. And I've been there. Done, I understand it. I totally understand it. So just keep her in your prayers when you when you when you say your prayers throughout the day at night. Keep Fit Angie and her parents up in prayer, really and truly. And also, y'all, show some love to Angela. Oh, God, I meant to write it down. Angie Spice, Spicer TV. I'm going to leave a description, her link to her description, too. Um, she's awesome. She's very a good supporter of mine. And um, she does, she started a YouTube channel. So just show her some support and some love. You never know what you'll like when, unless you go and see. Shout out to Veronica Wayne. I'm telling you, I've been watching her since she started her channel. She reminds me of my childhood friend. Even though she's younger than me. Just keep her impressed. She's going through some stuff. She, she said that she, you know, she really can't talk about it. I think she... She got in uh, a contract with a sponsor. Anyway. And they're, they're, they're taking her through according to what she was saying. So just keep her in prayer. And like I said, the only thing I can say is, you know, you know, I know it's rough, Veronica, right about now. But this too shall pass. And every day you just have to focus on what, what's the best decisions and what you can do in the day, in the 24 hours that you in. Don't try to consume yourself with trying to figure out what I'm going to do in the next week. Be present in the 24 hours that you've got and do the, do the best you can, make the best decisions, uh, write out the best strategy that's going to help you along your way as you maneuver through this. And like I said, she's been very tight-lipped and rightfully so because she wants to keep the heat down. I mean, you know, uh, I felt so bad. She did a live. It's not up anymore. She did a live and um, she she just, you know, she was, you, you can tell she's going, she, they giving her the business she's going through. So anyway, like I said, just lift her in prayer, you know. Again, like try to tell, like in, like I said in the last video, we're we're real people. I mean, I know y'all know this, but I'm just saying, you know, and we have issues. We do. When we cut these cameras off, honey, life goes on. Bill is still gonna come in the mail. <laughs> y'all get that? Yeah, all that kind of stuff comes in the mail. Issues. Uh, your crazy uncle and your and your hard headed nephew. All all, all that stuff still goes on. But anyway, thank y'all, thank y'all. And the, for the people I shouted out and for you viewers, thank you for being a blessing to my life. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But um, anyway, talking about craving. Oh my God, it's so good, y'all. For those of you ladies who have, who have children or have been pregnant, 
It's real when it comes to cravings. I can remember when I was pregnant with my son, I couldn't deal with seasoned meats. The smell of seasoned meats would send me over the edge. And of course, my parents were cooks. I mean, when I say cooks, they were they cooked. Uh huh. Let me tell you. Nothing else bothered me, but when it's something about seasoned meat, when there was seasoning the meat, and it didn't matter what meat it was, I would literally have to go outside. Because it just, the, the sin of it made me nauseous. But I'm going to tell you one thing that I ate, like it was going out of style, honey. I'm surprised we even have any chickens left now today. Because I ate so many eggs and hot sauce. Y'all, every day for, for breakfast and sometimes for dinner, that's all I wanted was scrambled eggs with hot sauce on it. Woo! I'm surprised my, my, my son didn't come out looking like a like a scrambled egg. I'm telling you, I ate so many scrambled eggs while I was pregnant. And see, that's when I fell in love with, um, Texas Pete. Ooh, that jalapeno juice soaked in that chip. That tastes good. Mmm. The flavor. The flavor. I didn't crave pickles and ice cream and all that. Mm -mm. Another thing I craved when I was pregnant is I would take a big bowl of potato chips and just saturate it with ketchup. Crush it up and just eat it with a spoon. Oh, oh, I just had a flat. Oh, I just had a flashback, y'all. When I tell you that was good to me, crushed up potato chips with ketchup on it, or them, uh, what was them thing called, them, uh, toothpick, um, uh, toothpick, uh, potatoes, t potato thing. What were some of y'all cravings, ladies, when y'all was pregnant? Or you men, what were some of the cravings you saw?
Oh, yes, 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 yes. And some of y'all men had cravings. Talking about when she pregnant, I'm pregnant too. <laughs> but no, I'm just kidding. But I know some of y'all men out there. Yeah, you 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 might have had to get up and get ice cream and pickles. But I bet you some of y'all was sitting right next to your wives or your significant other, eating it right along with them. Tell the truth, man. But you know, different stuff for different folks. Some people just have certain cravings. But I didn't have that stereotypical, I guess, what is it, pickles and ice. Never had that. And I also used to crave, y'all ready for this? The jumbo mar uh, marshmallows. Now, I can't fool with them because the texture, the texture, the texture. It bothers my sensory issues. That, mm -mm, I can't, mm -mm, I can't do it. It has to be melted down or something. I can't do that. Mm -mm. No can do. Oh y'all, I need to stop after these. After these, I mean, now you, I gotta eat the rest of these chips. Yeah, but I can tell if I don't stop, I'm gonna eat myself sick. This is that kind that you can't get enough of the flavor. Speaking of my childhood friend, one of them, that Veronica reminds me of, I can remember her brother. She had a younger brother talking about my best friend when I was young. That boy, talking about a craving, or I don't know if it was a craving or just an addiction. Her brother, her youngest brother, she had two brothers. That boy would eat mayonnaise out of the jar. That joker would dip that big old spoon, one of those spoons that just clears the opening and the, the opening of a mayonnaise jar, and he'd hold it like that, like that, and dip that that man. And he had his own mayonnaise that, that, that his family allowed. You know, that was his thing, and he dipped that spoon down there in that mayonnaise and it came up with a big mountain of mayonnaise on it of course but that spoon was so wide that it you know how you put it in my it stretched <clears throat> excuse me his mouth and he stuck that spoon in his mouth and that spoon came out of his mouth clean as whistle you would have thought he washed it in a dishwater I mean, it was it was so clean. Cause you imagine you stick that foot fork, that foot spoon all and it's got mayonnaise all up. He put that thing in his mouth when he pulled it out. It was clean, silver like a mirror.
Now, see, I was a child. So I was just fascinated by that. And we'd be over her house watching cartoons, and he'd be over there at that table with that mayonnaise. And it was just, they let him do it. I, I, and I was, it was like, I was like this. And back then, you know, when I was young, I had real long hair. So, I, you know how you have your hair over your eye. I was looking at him through my hair. And my friend Pam, she thought I was watching cartoons with him. I had my my eye peeped through the strands of that hair. And I used to watch him do that all the time. And I was fascinated how he sat there and ate all that mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Now, if I saw something like that today, I would pass out. I, I wouldn't be able to take it. Because I would be thinking about the texture. Mm-mm. And I love mayonnaise, but I spread it thin on my bread. And then mayonnaise move, move like jelly. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. No! I'm about to shut it down. I got to read. Read the good book. Gotta read the good book. Gotta, 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 gotta read the good book. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, this hit the spot. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you something, y'all. Ain't nothing like when you fix something or you get something that you've been craving and it's finally satisfied. Ain't nothing else like it. Just got a little bit left. Oh. Alright. That's it. Time to stop. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa, two, four, six, eight, six makes a dollar. Stand up, everybody, and holla, holla, holla. Holla, holla, holla. Oh, that was good. Whew. Anyway, let me go, y'all. Honey, I done ran my mouth long enough, ain't I? Anyway. Stay tuned for more uploads this week. Again, please check out all the people I shouted out. Again, I'm shouting you viewers out. Y'all are awesome. You're awesome. I love y'all. <laughs> anyway, thanks for stopping on the flavor train because what? What? Flavor is where it's at. Bye, y'all. I'm tired. I'm being silly.